Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a wig haul. So I'm going to show you each of my wigs and tell you where I got them from and um, just give you a little bit of information about them. So the wig I'm wearing right now is from Miss Violet Lace and she is by far my favorite person to buy wigs from. I will link her Etsy shop down below. But the reason I like her wigs, and I own about four of them in different colors, is that she has an option to pay like $10 and she will make it size up. And the reason I like her wigs the best is, first of all, they're extremely high quality. They're very, very, very unique. Um, she does a lot of, ma she makes some of her own wigs, she re deconstructs wigs, she puts different wigs together to make different colors. This one she dyed different colors. The neighbor is mowing his lawn. I don't know if you can hear that in this video. Anyway, um, the other thing I like about Miss Violet Lace is that she is a person that I can message. I can message her like, hey, I want this kind of wig, or I'm looking for this, or do you have anything like this? And she replies within 24 hours. Her customer service is amazing. I feel like she's this one-on-one -on -one person instead of this giant big box company. And the final thing that really sold me on her wigs is that they fit my giant head. <laughs> um, there's an average size head that most people have. I have a giant head and I also have extremely thick hair, like my hair is very, very thick. So when I started buying wigs and I was purchasing from Amazon and eBay, because I didn't know what I was doing. Those wigs cut off my circulation and most of them really don't fit because they're Asian sized and for people with giant heads, they're a lot bigger than Asian sized heads. So I think the Asian side is like 21 inches or something and my head is like 24 inches. So it's like four inches bigger and that's even before I put my hair in it. <laughs> so this is the most recent wig that I bought from her and I just love the ombre green and blue effect and I'm really happy with it. The first one I wanted to show you is this. It's a super long curly ginger hair wig and it's also from Miss Violet Lace as I said. It's just amazingly lovely and since I cut my hair really short whenever I want like really long luscious hair, red hair, I wear this. The very first wig that I ever bought from, where is it, from Miss Violet Lace is this pink wig. And it came um, with really, really fluffy hair, like curls, as you can see in the picture. But I got tired of it and I straightened it, so um, I really don't know what I'm doing when I straighten things and the back is kind of messed up. I really only wear this wig with a hat now because I messed up the back when I straightened it because I'm a total noob when it comes to wigs. Like, this is my first year wearing and buying wigs. The second wig I bought from Miss Violet Lace is this brown curly haired wig. Looks like this. It's kind of exactly like the pink one was, but it's still curled because I haven't straightened it yet. And this color just looks really, really good with my skin. And I just wear it when I'm feeling kind of flirty. You could also wear it for a Mori girl look. This one feels like really authentic and everything. It's also like super cute. Oh, I forgot that I bought a fourth wig. So I own five wigs from Miss Violet Lace. Um, when she posted this one on Instagram, I follow her on Instagram, so then I want like everything she posts. Um, I just had to buy it and I was like, husband, wig, please. And he was like, another one? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He let me buy it. But it is kind of like the, the red wig, but it's purple. It's purple. I have purple hair sometimes when I want to. Um, yes, yeah, so this just, wigs just help me like totally live my fantasy, like my hair fantasy to have rainbow hair and to look like a fantastic unicorn sometimes. Sometimes I just have this overwhelming desire to have pink hair or purple hair or blue hair or crazy rainbow hair. And if I didn't have these wigs, I would totally dye my hair like all the time because it's just this driving force or need or I don't know what it is. So wigs help me still have my normal hair on most days and then have amazingly fun, cute, crazy hair just on random days. So the very first wig I ever bought 
was off of Amazon because um, when I first got into wigs I wanted to do a Little Mermaid cosplay like the hipster mermaid like I really wanted to do it and so I bought this wig which I noticed that the wigs I buy from Amazon they do look a little bit more fake and more shiny also FYI do not cut the wig bangs when the wig is on your hair because one time I was cutting my bangs and I got a tiny piece of plastic stuck in my eye and it was there for four weeks and I almost had to go to the doctor and my friend Tori came and helped me flush it out with a syringe and I cried on her true story cut them off of the wig buy one of those foam heads they're four dollars and they will save you a lot of pain the second wig I bought off Amazon and if you google wigs on Amazon you'll see this one like everywhere it's literally everywhere and there's a bunch of different prices um, I think it's just the same wig that a lot of different people are selling. I'm not really sure why. Oh, it's a mess. This is one of my first wigs and I've worn it a lot. Um, it's a super long pink haired wig, like really long, like goes down to my butt. Um, I wore this out in public for the first time. It was like the first wig I ever wore in public and I was super nervous and afraid about it. It doesn't fit very well because of my giant head, but... I'm going to keep this one. It's fun to wear, just, you know, for fun. And this one has really good quality, I think. It does look really authentic. Um, I really like it. Okay, so I don't have them with me, but I also own this purple wig, and I also own this um, red wig that I used for my Strawberry Shortcake cosplay. And I'm using them to display my hats where I'm selling my knitting and crochet work. So they are on mannequins, head mannequins, and they have hats on them. So I don't have them with me to show you, but they are extremely tight, Asian size, like, they don't even fit me. When I wore these two wigs, I had to leave my hair in a braid down my back, and this is when my hair was really long. I couldn't tuck it up into the cap at all. The very last wig I bought off of eBay is this long gray-haired wig. It's kind of like the pink one, except for it has gray hair, and I forget, I was going to cosplay somebody with gray hair, but this wig just looks terrible with my skin tone. It doesn't really work with me at all. Um, I had some friends over, and one of my friends wore it. So those are my wigs, and that is really about it. And would you ever wear a wig? Do you want colorful, fun hair? Like, um... Tell me any wig stories or give me any suggestions about where I should check out and buy some wigs next. And I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Bye!